AFSPA, 300 Army personnel move SC, challenge for is registered against them. AFSPA, 300 Army personnel move SC, challenge for is registered against them. The Supreme Court has agreed to hear the plea filed by the Armed Forces personnel on August 20. In an unprecedented move, at least 300 armed forces personnel have approached the Supreme Court on Tuesday challenging the furs registered against them in connection with military operations in the areas where the Armed Forces Special Powers Act, UFSPA, is in force. In their petition, the petitioners claim that the registration of cases against those serving in highly disturbed and insurgency hit areas in the subsequent probe by the Civil Police or the Central Bureau of Investigation, CBI, is a big setback for them and serve as a major detriment for the armed forces. Lawyer Rai Shrabadi who filed the petition before a Supreme Court bench comprising Chief Justice Deepak Misra and Justice A. M. Conwilker, alleged on behalf of the petitioners that the registration of fur and prosecution of armed forces personnel was against the provisions of AFSPA, which grants immunity to them against prosecution for actions performed during official duties. The plea said that such prosecutions lower the morale of the military and paramilitary forces and pose a grave threat to the country's internal security. Several armed forces personnel are facing prosecution for alleged excesses and fake encounters in states like Manipur where FSP is in force. Prosecutions in some of those cases have been initiated following a direction from the Apex Court, especially in Manipur. Meanwhile, the Supreme Court today agreed to hear the plea filed by the Armed Forces personnel on August 20. According to PTI, the bench comprising Chief Justice Deepak Misra and Justice A.M. Khan Wilker considered the submissions of lawyer Rai Shrabati that Army personnel are being prosecuted for performing duties in disturbed areas. The Apex Court Bench of Justice Maiden B. Loker had earlier summoned CBI Director Locke Therma regarding the progress made by the agency against those accused of involvement in alleged fake encounters in Manipur. During the hearing, the CBI chief submitted that the agency is still collecting evidence against those accused of involvement in fake encounters in Manipur since a lot of times has passed. Responding to the CBI chief's submission before the top court, the bench chided the Central Probe Agency for slow action and referred to the accused as murderers who were roaming freely on streets of Imphal. It is to be noted that military and non-military personnel can be prosecuted only after obtaining permission from the Ministry of Defense in connection with cases of alleged excesses and fake encounters. However, the ministry has so far denied permission for the same. It is to be noted that AFSP is currently in force in Kashmir and parts of the northeast. <laughs>